Hey guys, it's your boy Random Guy Kev, and I'm bringing you a two minute review and a first impression in one video. This video is powered by SS Airsoft. Thank you to them for providing me a product to play with and review. I was having so much fun with this gun that I kind of forgot to let other people play with it. The gun I'm talking about is the Tokyo Maruri Vorpal Bunny in Pink. This gun is based on the anime Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gale Online. First off, this is definitely one of those guns that is very easy on the eyes, but also can put some work in on the field. For the price of about $300 at ssairsoft.com, I thought this would be more of a showpiece versus being a main character. This being my first Tokyo Marui product to use, I can see why they have the fan base they do. I don't often talk about the packaging for a product, but this packaging is definitely gorgeous. It made me assume that this was definitely one of those collector pieces that you don't want to feel. With the artistry on the front box and the visual appeal once you open it, yeah, I def definitely didn't want to play with it. Once I got it in my hand though, I, uh, you know, it did what it needed to do. You receive one green gas mag that has a capacity of about 18 BBs. This gun was shooting at about 200 FPS with 0.25 gram BBs and essentially you can go through one mag three times before having to refill it with green gas, from what I noticed. Ergonomically, if it's right in your hand with the thumb safety being ambidextrous, the flat trigger and how it was so responsive was amazing. This was worth every penny. The main thing that bothers me is that I can't slap a tracer unit on it because of the muzzle guard and comp compensator. Additionally, to just hop up, you have to take off the muzzle guard, which will allow you to adjust the slide as well. This is fixed to the front with one screw. Ultimately, this is a great purchase for collectors, fangirls, or anyone trying to use this on the field. I would recommend getting this immediately since it's limited edition and yeah, could be gone anytime soon. They also have the black variation if you're looking to get that. If you're a beginner, please play with a rental gun before purchasing anything to see if you even like Airsoft. If you're looking to purchase this gun, I'll leave a link for it in my description. Thank you again to SS Airsoft for sending this product my way. Now let's get into some first impressions. First impression is when I take a gun that was sent to me to review and put it in the hands of other airsofters to get their immediate first impressions after playing with it. This is the Tokyo Marui Vorpal Bunny. Hi, I'm Joe, I'm from Ness. Uh, primarily, I run in a high cap of 5.1, playing for a little less than a year. I've been on Ness for about three months, three, four months. Uh, today, Kev let me run his uh, Vorpal Bunny. It's a sidearm when I ran out of ammo. This, uh, this bad little bunny right here packs a little punch, and I definitely recommend it for anybody. CQB, Sidearm, Milsim, anybody. This thing is a go-to. My name is Earl from New England Speedsoft. I normally run Polar Stars, M4s, that's it. EPMs. I normally ne never run a sidearm, but I ran this today. It fits right in a mag pouch, so like you don't even gotta buy like a holster, nothing. I transitioned with it, I got four kills, and it fed the whole mag. It didn't leak, it didn't lock, it didn't double feed. Out of a 10, i give it an eight. And would I purchase one? I would, and I'm going to. 